everyone you are welcome to today's tutorial so for today we are going to be taking the body measurement now a lot of designers especially the beginners find it very difficult in order for you to know where or how many inches you have for you to mark the next measurement now we call it distance calculation it simply means how many inches do you have from your bust to your waist how many inches do you have from your waist to your hip from your hip to your knee measurement so i hope at the end of this video you are going to find it very easy for you to mark your various body measurements on the fabric don't forget to subscribe on my channel follow me on instagram cd designs and on facebook cd bags and fashion so the first one we have is our ham hole measurement so how will you get your ham hole measurement you have your bust measurement divided by four minus one your bust measurement divided by 4 minus 1. If, so you are taking 36 as the bust measurement. So we have 36 divided by 4. That is 9 minus 1. We have 8. So when you are marking your arm or when you mark your shoulder, your arm or measurement is going to be 8 inches. Now from the arm O to the bust, from the arm O to the bust, if you are making use of 36 as the bust measurement, under your 8 inches, you are going to mark your bust measurement. So it varies between 8 inches to 9 inches to 10 inches, depending on the bust measurement. If you have a lesser bust, you are going to have um, the distance between the ammo and the bust is going to be less. If you have a bigger bust, it's going to increase. Now, so from the bust to the waist, the distance between our bust measurements to the waist measurement varies from 8 inches to 9 inches. It varies from 8 inches to 9 inches. So from the waist to the hip, it varies from 8 inches, 9 inches. So for people that have the lower parts, so it depends on the body shape of the individual. For those that have the lower parts, we have 10 inches. So from the waist, so the knee, we are going to have 17 inches. Why? Because you have 8 inches. We are going to have 17 inches from the waist to the knee. Now, from the shoulder to the nipple, from your shoulder to your nipple, we are going to have 10 inches. So when you are marking your fabric, from shoulder to the nipple, you have 10 inches. Now, from the shoulder to the under bust, you are going to have 13 inches. So these are the basic and the standard measurements requires for you to mark. Requires for you to you need to know them when marking or when learning how to cut. It enables you to know where will I mark my bust measurement, where will I mark my waist measurement, how will I know where to place my hip measurement. So this is simply the basic calculations for it. So the first thing you have to do, if you mark your shoulder, let's assume that our shoulder is 14 inches. Don't forget you have to divide your shoulder by two. When the fabric is folded into four folds so you have seven inches so this is seven inches for the shoulder for our arm hole you mark eight inches this is eight inches then you draw your arm hole curve i'm using this as an illustration for you so you mark your this is your eight inches for our arm hole now under this arm hole we are going to mark our bust measurement. If our bust measurement is 36, we are dividing it by 4, we have 9 inches. So you mark your 9 inches here, plus your sewing allowance. So this is your bust inch, your bust measurement. Now the distance calculation from this bust measurement to your waist measurement. You mark from your bust measurement to your waist measurement, 8 inches, 9 inches. This is your waist measurement, this is the line. For the waist measurement so you mark if the waist if the waist is 34 you divide it by four then you add your sewing allowance now the distance from this waist to the hip is varies it depends on the body shape for those that have a lower part you make use of 10 for those that have a upper part you make use of 8 9 or 10 inches so you mark from your waist to your hip 8 or 9 or 10 inches you mark it this is your hip measurement so you, if your hip is 40, you divide it by 4 plus your sewing allowance, you get what you want. So these are the basic measurements. It is called distance calculation. 
don't forget to subscribe on my channel tg designs on instagram tango designs and on facebook tg bags and fashion bye